channel. So yesterday I received an email from Digital Dream Labs saying that Vector 2.0 will be available to pre-order on the 20th of November and the delivery is starting as early as May 15, 2021, which is next year. So we've got quite a long way to go, but this is good news. This is exactly what we've been told. So when you actually go to the Digital Dream Lab website, uh, there's the actual page saying that um, Vector 2.0 pre-order and the vector improvements are about six lists. So number one is increased battery capacity of 25% more play time, as I actually mentioned on my previous video. Also easy access to battery for replacement. Batteries now come with a connector for use, user replacement. So I think that what it means is, I think it will come with a separate battery, just like my Canon uh, E50. It, I actually have two spare batteries. So while I'm actually recording at the same time, I'm actually charging the other battery. So as soon as it runs out, I can replace it straight away and it works. I think that's what the function they're emphasizing here. Increased camera resolution. We all know that Vector Original 1.0 or Original Vector, camera quality is not that good. It recognizes human face, but if you actually look in your computer to see what Vector sees in the world point of view, it's not good enough here. Um, now the addressed heat and condenser issue, well, I haven't actually experienced, but they're actually gonna improve the screen and improve speaker performance as well. We all know the, the speaker itself actually breaks. It's very sharp and it's a bit annoying to listen to when Vector plays some music. So I'm actually seeing the preview image here and I have to be a bit frank here. I'm slightly put off. I was, when I actually heard that Vector 2.0 is coming out, I thought it's going to be visually also more, much cooler looking, but I think the aesthetic wise, we're not going to see much of a difference because they have actually uh, sh are showing a vector uh, image here. Uh, if they, I actually, I, I would like to think that if a company is really excited about the new design, they will probably try to excite their uh, customer by possibly putting a question mark with more sort of hidden view of the pre, like what the next model is going to look like. But they're just bluntly showing the model of a vector, the one that we originally have here that we already own. So. Uh, I might actually buy it to compare it with the original vector to see what's the difference to show you guys before you actually get one. But um, I'm not sure. I mean, Cosmo 2.0 is due to be available soon, I guess, same as vector 2.0 as well. But at the moment, I don't think vector in the outer appearance that there's going to be much of a difference. I mean, there's also a condition where six months of Vector subscription indeed. So um, I guess six for six months, you'll be able to use it, but afterwards you have to pay the subscription fee as well um, and so on. So mixed minded here, really, to be honest with you. Sorry, DDL, but um, if Vector will come with a really cooler image, I might consider. <laughs> but maybe he will have a bigger so-called mouse um, of which represents the camera. I guess there'll be a slight difference, but th that's the thing. I mean, this preview image is slightly putting me off. That's all I want to say, but it's good news. So we're going to get an improved Digital Stream Lab upgraded version of Vector 2.0. So um, a lot of great hardcore uh, Vector fans out there will really really welcome this uh, move i guess so really exciting in some way for those who are who haven't got a vector who wants to own a vector this is one for you and i hope you also enjoy so please make sure you tune in on the 20th of november which is um, next week isn't it friday and um, see how great the digital dream lab version of vector 2.0 will be so anyway exciting news just want to let you know make sure you tune in Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.